you so much, Derek. That was beautiful. So many warm memories. And thank you, World Soundtrack Awards. The World Soundtrack Awards have been so important to our international film music community and been such a huge part of laying the path to what film music festivals can be and aspire to. I have been so lucky to work in an industry with so many extraordinary people and talents. I need to start by mentioning a few composers that we all cherish and revere. The composers who were most responsible for my career beginning in film music in the first place were Jerry Goldsmith, Alex North, George Delarue, and Elmer Bernstein. They were each dear friends of mine and we did so much work together. I miss them all so much, but I know that we all do. It is also very important to me how inclusive my career has been able to be, how many composers I have been able to work with. A list of the composers who are represented in my discography by two or three dozen albums each includes Hans Zimmer, Danny Offman, Alexandre Spla, Carter Burwell, Alan Silvestri, Michael Giacchino, Brian Tyler, John Powell, Rachel Portman, Marco Beltrami, Randy Edelman, John Debney, Joel McNeely, James Newton Howard, Thomas Newman, Jeff Beale, Bill Conti, Harry Gregson Williams, and Michael Dana. As last year's industry award went to the Alliance for Women Film Composers, I also want to acknowledge the great Shirley Walker, who I worked with in 1992 on Memoirs of an Invisible Man, which was the first soundtrack album ever released by a female composer. In 2002, I also released Laura Cartman's first album, and so many others by so many hugely talented and amazing women. I have always loved the World Soundtrack Awards discovery category in the way it is always looking toward the future of our art and industry. I am so proud to have released so many of the scores by composers who have been nominated or won that category, and often the actual score that led to their discovery, including Klaus Badelt, Gustavo Santaolalla, Christopher Gordon, Alex Heffis, Trevor Morris, Benjamin Ballfish, Otley Orbison, Mark Straitenfeld, Ramin Dravidi, Douglas Pipes, Sergei Yevtichenko, Laurent Ikem, Patrick Cassidy, Brian Byrne, Rob Simonson, Hildur Gudnadotter, and Anne Smilevsky. And we also celebrate film music legends with our Lifetime Achievement Award winners here. I have released a half dozen albums with Lawrence Rosenthal and also the beautiful Running Free by Nicola Piovani. It is so great to see each of, the, each of them being celebrated here this year. And from the past years, I have released so many scores with David Shire, Philippe Sard, Maurice Shar, Angelo Badalamenti, John Barry, Pino Dinaggio, Patrick Doyle, George Fenton, and Gabrielle Yared. And I'm still just getting started. It was, it was such an honor for me to co-produce this year's World Soundtrack Awards Lawrence Rosenthal album. And my next release by my dear friend Fabrizio Mancinelli is a beautiful score he wrote for Mushka, which will be released in just a few weeks. And Fabrizio is here in Ghent for the very first time. I am enormously grateful to all the composers I have mentioned, as well as all of those I haven't. Thank you to Film Fest Ghent and the World Soundtrack Awards, and to everyone, the composers and the orchestrators, musicians, studio executives, agents, lawyers, publicists, 
and everyone who has been part of my adventures and part of my life in film music. Thank you all.